Yeah, I really should have reapplied my lipstick. Oh well. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Before I do this update for my project polish, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 1k. That's insane. <laughs> I just can't, I can't imagine 1000 people sitting watching me overall or right now. <laughs> I I feel I don't know what to say other than thank you so so much. It is so insane. I have worked so hard to build up a new follower following uh, after I stopped on my Danish channel and split it up in two. So I only make English videos, and I feel I can't talk. So that's just great. <laughs> I'm really really thankful. For so many wanting to watch my videos, me chatting about makeup and beauty and clothing and everything, really, I'm just really, really grateful that people want to watch me ramble about stuff. <laughs> so thank you so much, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Elizabeth, and I'm. 24 years old and I live in Denmark and I am really really grateful for everyone that is watching my videos. So thank you. Let me go into the update before <laughs> we are going to get way more cheesy than we already are. So I am doing my project polish this year. I have a rule that I want to have three polishes in at all time in my project polish because that is the perfect number for me because then I can make the most progress. That being said, <laughs> one or two updates ago I added in a glitter nail polish so I was working on four but in my mind I really just was working on three because the glitter I only use as a topper. I used it once or twice by itself and that is why I can call it an empty for this update which is really exciting because then I don't have any glitters in my nail polish collection anymore which is very exciting to me because I'm not a I'm not a big fan of it. I love how it looks but overall no we're not really. If you saw my April empties you would know. It is an empty. So this is a Depend Glitter Nail Polish and it has a black kind of base and then silver glitter in it. I'm really really excited. So I have some marking. If you can see, I started there. So it was really really low and really goopy but when it is a glitter I don't really mind. So it is done. No more. Exciting. Mm, yeah, let me take the three polishes that I am working on, that I have worked on since... Have I worked on them since the beginning of the year? Almost. No, not a, no, no, almost. I think. I, I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Okay. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I have a new line for every single polish. The one that... The <laughs> I have a new line on all of the polishes. And the one that is the most exciting is the silver one from the pen. I am almost done with it. That is where I am right now. So that is where I was last update. I'm really, really excited about this marking because that means it will be done by the next update if I focus as much as I have on this. I have been applying two coats because one was just not enough and that is just making it last a little bit longer and it is more opaque and it's just more beautiful uh, and I am enjoying it much more than I was <laughs> when I was up here. So these polishes are rather small so that is also why I can go through it quite fast. It is getting hard to use now so I am going to have it laying on the side so I can use it easier. The other dependent nail polish I have and I am working on is this beautiful red one. It is a darker red, but you have to build this up because it's kind of sheer. I have not worked on it this month, so that is just my progress right there. I do believe this can be finished in one month or two months. I do love to have a red, so that is why I, I'm not in a rush. Then we have the Essie nail polish and the uh, nail lacquer actually. And it is in the color licorice 
because it is the pure black one. My nails are rubbish. Don't mind them, I'm going to paint them tonight. Yeah, I have a new marking right there. So I've used it a little bit, but I only use this on my toes. Okay, that's a lie. Now I'm lying. Why am I lying? I don't know. I mainly use this on my toes because I just really like uh, black nail polish on my toes mostly. Overall, I actually like dark nail polish, but I have more than just dark nail polish, so I mainly just using the dark nail polish on my toes. I have been good at using nail polish on my toes this month, just not this one. <laughs> I really try. Ooh. I have tried my hardest to get this one out because I really want to have something else than a silver in the spring and summertime. Right now it's okay because the weather is overall really bad in Denmark. I thought it was going to be sunny all the time. I guess not. So yeah. I'm still having the Essie black nail polish in my uh, rotation and I'm really really happy about it because I really like that polish. But when it's gone, I won't miss it if that makes sense because it Essie doesn't last on my nails and my overall goal for my nail polish collection is to just wiggle it down to having one or two polishes because my nails are rubbish and I hate my nails so much so I just want to have thick nails and that might sound stupid I have tried so many things for my nails and it just won't work and I have used a glass file I have used a regular file I have tried to only file my nails and not cut them and I I use a cuticle oil I use a base coat I use a top coat I I have used a nail hardener and nail, a stronger a nail stronger thing in nope it's not working they are breaking anyway so don't even don't even sorry <laughs> bent over <laughs> because i finished up the glitter nail polish and i said in the beginning i'm not really going to stick to my rule of only having three because i want some brighter and more fun colors than these three because it's a silver, dark red and uh, black. Yeah, they are still my main focus. That's that's my rule. They are my main focus but if I want to change it up I'm going to change it up to these three that I am adding in. So let's start off with the ones I have on my nails. Again, don't mind them but this is a combo that I have on my nails that I applied for a, a Confirmation. I have no idea what a confirmation is in English, but it's something we have in Denmark. <laughs> it is this combo right here. So the base shade that I have is the one from Catrice. It is the Luxury Nude, Luxury Nude Satin Shine in the color Delight in Pure Light. I had this in my project polish last year, so that is my marking right there. So I am basically at the same line right there so i have half a polish left i think that is manageable to finish it up this year and this is one of the older polishes in my collection so i really want it gone and i really like it but it's not shimmery enough for me <laughs> it's a basic thing going on in my life i love shimmer just not on my clothing to make it more shiny as it is right now I have applied this Kiko nail polish. Why is it always called nail liquor? Okay, it is the Kiko Milano. No, okay, again. <laughs> Kiko Makeup Milano nail liquor in a shade 58, 221. I have no idea. But it is this beautiful champagne rose gold shade. It is a beautiful polish on its own, but it is definitely beautiful on this base cream shade. I wanted it to be opaque, so I thought a nude base would be nice. So I have, and this is also one of the older ones in my collection. I bought it in like 2015 or 16, I can't remember. And the same with this one, 16. Um, so I really want them gone. I will miss this one though. So I, I'm still trying to find my perfect nail polish brand that I want to have in between the fake nails, you know. I, I have not decided yet, but Kiko and Nails Inc. is really, really close. For a fun polish, 
and yeah you can see the color just need to shake it up because it's separated a little bit it is a mini from w7 and yes it is this bright bright pink fuchsia pink whatever you want to call it it's it looks a little bit more cold but it's definitely hot pink i want to use this up because i i used up a bright pink last year in a small bottle as well and I thought it would be fun to work on another one so this is the next bright pink one I have let me just get a full size of full size of the W7 ones they look like the OPI uh, big bottles so the SE one is 15 milliliters I believe I don't remember 15 I think the depend one is 5 milliliters the Kiko one is 11 milliliters and the Catrice one is 10 milliliters so I believe the W7 is 5 as well so yeah 15 milliliters this is the W7 full size and this is an OPI okay this is separated don't mind it so yeah the, the OPI one is 15 15 milliliters so you can see it is a mini so I guess it is as small as the OPI minis but this does not come with a sticker or anything on it so I don't know the shade and I don't know how much there is in it but I would believe it is 5 milliliters or something so yeah I have one empty I have three main polishes in this project and then I have three that I want to have fun with and these are the shades that I'm going to focus on when I want to have fun and when I have used up a few of these most likely the two smaller ones from the pen I'm going to focus on the nudes and the bright pink a little bit more so I hope that makes sense and this is just me trying to have more fun because I'm, I'm I wanted something else <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe down below if you haven't already and I have been here forever so I'm so sorry <laughs> if you didn't want to watch a long Patrick Polish video because they are not usually this long sorry <laughs> I hope you enjoyed anyway and until my next video take care